Caillou and Leo were having lots of fun playing in the park together. Leo brought along his favorite green truck to show Caillou. Wow, Leo! Your truck is so cool! I'll bring my red one tomorrow and we can race! Okay, but mine will be the fastest. We'll see about that. Time to go now, Caillou. But I don't want to go yet. We're playing with Leo's truck. We'll be back tomorrow. You can finish your game then. Fine. See you tomorrow, Leo. Bye, Caillou. The next day, Caillou was very excited to play trucks with Leo at the park. He jumped out of bed and got ready as fast as he could. <gasps> Mommy! Caillou was covered in tiny red spots. He didn't know what they were, but they were very itchy. Mommy! Oh dear, it looks like you have chicken pox. Chicken pox? They're just little itchy spots, nothing to worry about. But you must remember not to scratch them or they'll get worse. I'll run you a nice bath and then you won't feel so itchy. While Mommy ran the bath, Caillou stood looking at himself in the mirror. He tried to count how many tiny red spots he had. Your bath is ready, Caillou. Caillou knew he shouldn't scratch, but he couldn't help it. Caillou, no scratching! But I'm so itchy, Mommy! If you don't scratch and you take lots of baths, your spots will disappear faster. Caillou didn't feel as itchy in the bath, and playing with Ducky helped him forget all about it. Quack! <laughs> Quack! How are you doing in there, Caillou? I think I'm ready to get out and go play with Leo now. I'm not itchy anymore. I'm sorry, you can't go out and play today, Caillou. You are sick. You need to stay home and rest. Caillou was very sad he wouldn't be able to go play trucks with Leo. After all, he didn't feel itchy anymore. You can't see Leo until your spots have cleared up. Otherwise, you'll make Leo sick too. Caillou didn't want to make Leo sick, so he listened to Mommy and went back to bed. Caillou was getting bored of waiting for his spots to go away. He found it very hard not to scratch. They were just so itchy. Caillou, are you scratching? I can't help it, Mommy. They're so itchy. I have some special cream that might help. <laughs> Once Mommy was done, she pulled out a sheet of stickers. What are those stickers for? It's a surprise. Mommy put the red dots on Caillou's dinosaur. My dinosaur has chicken pox too! Soon me and Dinosaur are going to feel much better. Then I can go play with Leo. The next morning, Caillou looked at himself in the mirror. His spots were finally <gasps> fading. Mommy, come see! That's great, Caillou. You're almost all better. Caillou showed Mommy that his dinosaur had fewer spots, too. Can me and Dinosaur go play outside now? I want to show Leo my truck. Not yet, Caillou. You'll have to wait until the chicken pox are completely gone. Aww. The next day, all Caillou's spots had disappeared. He picked up his dinosaur and his truck and ran to tell everyone the good news. Mommy! Daddy! Look! Ta-da! I see you and your dinosaur spots are all gone. Yup. Can I go out and play now? Yes, Caillou. You can go after breakfast. Can you go wake Rosie for me? <gasps> Rosie, guess what? My spots have all gone, so we're going to the p <gasps> Now poor Rosie's face was covered in spots. Chicken spots! Mommy, come quick! Caillou knew just what had happened to Rosie. <gasps> Look, Mommy, now Rosie has chicken pox. Don't worry, Rosie. I'll look after you. 
Don't you want to go to the park to play trucks with Leo? Not today. Dr. Caillou needs to look after Rosie. Here, if you take lots of baths and don't scratch, you lose all your spots, just like me and my dinosaur. Rosie knew she'd feel better in no time with Dr. Caillou looking after her. Caillou, Clementine, and Leo were at play school. Miss Martin was teaching them all about fire safety. Who knows what a smoke detector is? A smoke detector tells us if there's any smoke in the air. And why is this important? Because if there is smoke, it means there is a fire. That's right, Clementine. Do any of you know where the smoke detector in this room is? Is that it? Not quite, Caillou. That's the fire alarm. If there is a fire, it'll ring loudly and let us all know. Is that it up there? That's right! The smoke detector is the round box on the ceiling with the flashing light. When there is a fire, smoke rises up to the ceiling, all the way up to the blinking box. Then we have to call the firefighters. I'd like to be a firefighter when I grow up! Well, you can tell that to the firefighters when we get to the fire station this afternoon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when Caillou and his friends arrived at the fire station, they all ran straight to the big fire trucks. Hey there, kids. It's great to have you all here visiting the fire station. Can we have a ride on the fire truck? <laughs> we can later, but there's a lot to learn about fire safety first. Let's head into the station, and you can meet my pal Sparky. He's a firefighter, too. Caillou looked around the station. He saw a big pair of boots, a long coat, and best of all, a shiny red hat. Wow, looks like we've got a real firefighter right here. What do you think, Sparky? Can he join the team? <laughs> As you've already seen, here are all our uniforms, which are very special. Fire is so hot, when we wear these, we're extra protected from getting burnt. Here's the pole we slide down in an emergency to get to the fire truck as quick as we can. If we took the stairs, we could trip from all the rushing we have to do. Can we slide down the pole? Well, you sure can. Let's meet the rest of the team first. Coming down! How do you know when there is a fire? Good question, young man. That's what this big computer here is for. The 911 call tells us where the fire is, and the computer tells us how to get there as fast as possible. Caillou and his friends liked learning about fire safety, but Caillou was more excited about having a ride on the fire truck. Is it time to have a ride on the fire truck yet? As long as Firefighter Steve says it's okay. Well, if you're going to be a firefighter, you're going to need to learn how to drive the truck. Everyone was excited to watch Firefighter Steve show off what the fire truck could do, especially Caillou and Leo. First, he showed them the hose for putting out fires. Caillou thought it was much stronger than the hose Daddy used to water the flowers. Then, the other fire officer stood on top of the ladder as it got longer and longer. Caillou watched it go up and down. Fireman Steve saved the best to last. Now, firefighter in training, I'm going to need you to flick the siren switch. What does the siren do? Press the button and find out. Caillou didn't expect that at all. It was a loud noise that would tell everyone that the fire truck was coming. Caillou had a fantastic day at the station. He couldn't wait to be a real firefighter someday. <laughs> it was a bright and sunny day, and Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou on a mystery drive. He was excited to find out where they were going. Where are we, Mommy? 
You'll find out soon, Caillou. But I want to know now! Caillou was getting bored of being in the car. It felt like they'd been driving for hours. Caillou looked around everywhere, but there was nothing nearby at all. There's nothing here! Where are all the buildings? <laughs> this is a national park, Caillou. There aren't any buildings. Just miles and miles of nature and fresh air. So what are we going to do here? We're going to have a... Picnic! Caillou thought a picnic was a great idea. He was so hungry. When the picnic was over, Caillou had so much energy, he couldn't sit still. Can we go exploring now? I want to find a lion or a tiger! <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any of those here, I'm afraid, Caillou. But there are lots of squirrels and rabbits. And now there's a bear, too! Teddy! Caillou didn't really like walking through the woods that much. He thought it was a bit boring. Excuse me? Caillou turned around and saw a strangely dressed man in a big hat catching up to them. Hi, I'm Bob, one of the park rangers. I think you might have dropped this little guy. Caillou was confused. Why was the man carrying his trash? No, it's empty, so I don't need it anymore. <laughs> you shouldn't just drop things when you're done with them. You should always make sure to put them in a trash can. But why? Well, if everyone dropped their trash all the time, the park would be really messy. And some of the animals might mistake it for food and hurt themselves by trying to eat it. Caillou didn't like the sound of that. He didn't want any animals to hurt themselves. Oh, no! I'll make sure to put it in a trash can later. That sounds like a good idea. Even better, you could recycle them. What's recycling? It's when we reuse things to make new things. Kind of like that bottle. Hmm. Daddy, can Park Ranger Bob come for a walk with us? Sure he can. Caillou wanted to know more about why recycling was important. What kind of things can you recycle, Bob? Well, you can recycle cans, cardboard, paper, glass, and plastic. But you must always remember not to put them all in one trash can. Then what happens? When you recycle something, it gets broken down and made into new things. Oh, like a circle. It goes round and round. Exactly. Well done, kiddo. After a long walk, Caillou and his family were all ready to go home. Thanks for teaching me all about recycling. My pleasure, Caillou. Here, I have something for you. One for you and one for Rosie. Wow! Thank you! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I'm Park Ranger Caillou! <laughs> Bye, Park Ranger Bob! Wait! We have to keep the park clean. Caillou had loved exploring nature today. He couldn't wait to be Park Ranger Caillou again. Caillou was at the supermarket with Mommy. Mommy, can you carry me, please? Caillou, you're a big boy. You can walk by yourself. But I don't feel very well. Caillou started to cry. <laughs> he wasn't feeling very well. Ooh, your forehead is very hot. You might have a fever. Caillou snuggled up to his mommy. Hmm. Come on, let's go home and check your temperature. Caillou was not feeling very well. He had the flu. How do you feel, Caillou? <coughs> My throat hurts. I think we may need to go visit the doctor. No, I don't want to go to the doctor, mommy. 
It's always best to visit the doctor when you're ill. They'll make you feel better in no time. Hello there, Caillou. Caillou wanted to stay near Mommy. He was still a little bit scared. So, a little birdie told me you're not feeling so good. Well, I can change that. But first, I need your help. You can use my stethoscope to listen to your mommy's heartbeat. Caillou had never used a stethoscope. He was amazed. He could hear mommy's heartbeat. Wow! Very cool, right? Would you like to listen to your own heartbeat? Caillou could hear his own heart. He was really amazed. Now, can I listen? Dr. Rose used the stethoscope to listen to Caillou's heart and lungs. Caillou, I want to look inside your ears now. I'm going to shine this light inside your ear to make sure everything is okay. Are you ready? Don't worry, Caillou. It won't hurt. You can hold my hand if you like. Caillou held Mommy's hand whilst Dr. Rose looked in his ear. Now I want to look at your throat to see if it's red. I need you to open your mouth like this. Ah. Uh... Dr. Rose opened her mouth wide, but Caillou was still a bit worried. Now it's your turn. Caillou opened his mouth wide and stuck his tongue out. Ah! Uh... Oh dear. It looks like you have a bad cold, Caillou. Caillou cuddled up to Mommy. He didn't like having a cold. Your mommy has done a good job taking care of you. Now you need to rest some more and take this medicine. You'll get better in no time. The next day, Caillou was starting to feel a bit better. Mommy brought Caillou a glass of water. But I'm not thirsty. It's important to drink lots of water when you're sick. Are you feeling a bit better now? Let's check your temperature. Oh, mommy! Caillou, you have to sit still, dear. Caillou couldn't sit still. He wanted to play with his toys. Looks like you're getting a lot better. Caillou wanted to play doctor with his teddy. He pretended to check Teddy's temperature. How is Teddy feeling, Caillou? He's a bit ill, Mommy. I'm going to have to stay here and make sure he gets better. Good idea, Caillou. That's very kind of you. Caillou loved playing doctor with his teddy. He was happy to stay home and make sure Teddy got better. Caillou and his family were on their way to Uncle Felix's farm. Caillou was very excited. I can't wait to see all the farm animals. Moo! Quack! <laughs> Uncle Felix! Caillou gave Uncle Felix a big hug. He was very happy to see him. Howdy, Caillou! Great to finally have you all down on the farm. You ready to see some animals? I can't wait! There were lots of cute, fluffy sheep in the barn. Do you know what sound a sheep makes, Caillou? Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> That's right. Uncle Felix and Caillou gave the sheep some grain to eat. That one's so small. Can I touch it? Of course, Caillou, but be careful. It's only a baby. Wow, it's so soft. Next, Caillou saw some cows in the field outside the barn. The cow's nose is wet! Where are all the horses, Uncle Felix? I want to be a cowboy! Uncle Felix walked into the field and whistled. Right away, a horse galloped up to them. This is Harry. Harry the horse! Can I ride him, please? Caillou had never ridden a horse before. He jumped around pretending to be a horse. <laughs> sure you can, buddy. Perched safely on the horse,
Caillou felt like a cowboy as Uncle Felix led him and Harry around the field. <laughs> Caillou galloped up to the barn. He was still having fun pretending to be a horse. That was such a fun ride! I really like Harry the horse! Caillou heard a funny noise. He wasn't sure what it was. What was that? A mommy pig! Look at all the babies! The pigs were bathing in the mud. Caillou went in to have a closer look. Baby pigs are called piglets. This is so much fun! As Caillou watched, Uncle Felix drove his red tractor. He was sad that he wasn't allowed to try. Why can't I drive the tractor, Mommy? Only grown-up farmers like Uncle Felix can drive tractors, Caillou. Mommy had an idea to cheer Caillou up. She pulled his favorite red tractor out of her handbag and handed it to him. Here you go, Caillou. It looks just like Uncle Felix's. Wow, your tractor looks just like mine. You'll be a farmer in no time. Yippee! In the barnyard, Caillou saw some chickens. He tried to catch them. Caillou liked watching the chickens. They pecked at the ground with their pointy beaks. One of them swallowed a worm. Yuck! Want to check the hen house, Caillou? Maybe the hen laid some eggs. Ta-da! Wow, Caillou, excellent job! You're a great farmer. Caillou had lots of fun at the farm with Uncle Felix. He couldn't wait to come back and see all his animal friends again. Today, Caillou and his mommy were going to do some gardening. What are you looking at, Caillou? There's a caterpillar! It's eating a lot of that big leaf, Mommy. And it's only a tiny caterpillar. Well, it's a tiny caterpillar now, but soon it will be a big, strong butterfly. First, it needs to eat as much as it can. Caillou looked closely at the caterpillar, but it was so tiny, he didn't understand how it could possibly turn into a butterfly. What are you doing, Caillou? Caillou's friend Sarah was peeking at him through a gap in the garden fence. I'm trying to look at this tiny caterpillar, but it's too small. We can use my magnifying glass. What's that? A magnifying glass is something you use to make something small look big. Caillou looked through the magnifying <laughs> glass and laughed. It made Sarah's face look much bigger. <laughs> Caillou liked seeing the caterpillar through the magnifying glass. He could see all its tiny legs moving. I have an idea. Let's play Jungle Explorer. Caillou thought this was a great idea. He got down on his hands and knees and started exploring. Caillou looked at the huge butterfly. It was so colorful. It's as big as a bird. It must have eaten lots and lots of leaves. Caillou wanted to keep looking at the butterfly, but it flew away. Come back here, butterfly. The jungle is much thicker there. You can't get through it, Caillou. If I can't get through it, I'll go under it. Caillou bent down as low as he could and crawled deeper into the garden. Caillou saw the butterfly again in the distance. It was on top of a ferocious lion who was sleeping soundly. I have to be careful not to wake up the sleeping lion. Oh no! 
The lion woke up with a roar and scared away the butterfly, which flew off deeper into the jungle. I've got you now, butterfly! The loud rumbling in the sky startled Caillou, and it startled the butterfly, too. What was that? Caillou was very frightened and ran back out of the jungle as fast as he could. Sarah! Sarah! Mommy! Sarah! Did you hear that loud noise? Don't worry, Caillou. It was just thunder. That means it's going to rain soon. But it scared away my butterfly! That's okay, Caillou. Look, the caterpillar from this morning has made a cocoon. Mommy showed Caillou a jar with a cocoon inside. Caillou used the magnifying glass to see it up close. What's a cocoon, Mommy? When a caterpillar makes a cocoon, it means it's turning into a butterfly. Wow! Soon I'll have a butterfly of my very own! Wow, Caillou, that's so cool! Caillou had lots of fun exploring the jungle and looking for butterflies. He couldn't wait for the cocoon to hatch so he could play again. Caillou's family was on their way to buy groceries, but Daddy drove right past the grocery store. Caillou was confused. Daddy, you missed the store! We're not going to the store today, Caillou. We're going to go somewhere called a farmer's market. What's a farmer's market, Daddy? It's a place where farmers bring all the things that they grow. Can we buy food there? Yes, lots and lots of food, Caillou. When they arrived, Caillou saw the farmer's market was very different from the grocery store. All of the food was placed on tables with a farmer behind each stall. Where did all this food come from, Daddy? The farmers grow the food at their farms and bring them straight here. It's very fresh. Caillou looked for bananas, but he couldn't see them anywhere. Mommy, where are the bananas? Well, Caillou, all of this food is grown nearby, but bananas only come from very far away. Bananas don't grow here? No, the bananas come from so far away that they need a plane to get all the way to the grocery store. Caillou liked thinking about bananas flying in a plane. <laughs> then, Caillou remembered something. Strawberries can grow close to here. I've seen Grandma grow them in her garden. That's right, Caillou. But I don't see any strawberries. That's because it's spring. You can't eat strawberries until they're ripe, and they won't be ready until the summertime. There were more than just fruits and vegetables at the farmer's market. They walked past a cheese stand with lots of smelly cheeses. Caillou tried some that was made from goat's milk instead of cow's milk. He thought it tasted funny. Ugh. If there's goat's milk, that must mean there's goats nearby too! I think there's one right over there, Caillou. Caillou had never been this close to a goat before. The farmer even let him feed the goat straight from his hand. <gasps> Is that lady a farmer too? Her hat looks silly. She's a different kind of farmer. She raises bees and sells their honey. That hat stops her from getting stung by the bees. Caillou tried some of the honey on a stick. It was delicious. The farmer was so nice, she let Caillou try on her hat. How do I look, Rosie? <laughs> Funny! At another table, Caillou saw some long, skinny vegetables. Mommy, what are those? Those are asparagus. It's a vegetable. Asparagus. <laughs> That's a funny name. <laughs> Caillou liked the word so much, he said it over and over. Asparagus. Why don't we buy some? I have a wonderful recipe for asparagus soup. But I need one more vegetable, Caillou. Can you help me? What about those carrots? 
Ew! They're all covered in mud! That's because they have been pulled straight from the ground this morning, Caillou. Fresh from the farm. At home, Caillou washed the vegetables while Mommy cut them up. Then, they put all the ingredients they had bought in the blender. Would you like to push the button, Caillou? Yes, please! <laughs> At supper time, everyone had a bowl of the soup. Caillou had a taste, but he wasn't sure if he liked it. What do you think, Caillou? It's not as good as spaghetti, but it really was fun choosing all the vegetables. Well, you're going to have to finish your dinner if you want some dessert. Mommy brought out bowls of ice cream drizzled with the honey from the market. Caillou thought it was the best thing he'd ever tasted. Can we go back to the farmer's market again soon? Yes, Caillou. The next one is in the summer, so we can see what's in season then. Maybe they will have some strawberries! 